All right, well, hi, I'm Karen. All right, so in this video today, I'm gonna be playing around with some other colors to spice this up a little bit. I'm gonna be using the BH Cosmetics foil. Um, there were some colors in here I saw I wanted to test out along with the Jaclyn Hill palette, of course, because we are panning that out. <laughs> All right, um, so let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, I'm gonna start with spraying my skin with uh, this, what is it, is it a witch hazel? What is it, Taya? I hope I'm saying, saying it right. Her daughter, aloe vera gel, and I can't wait for this jojoba, jojoba oil to get here so I can finish making this moisturizer recommended by Pamela because I have a whole lot of aloe vera gel and I need to make sure I make the most out of that. And I read some really, really good things about the jojoba oil as far as um, what's in it. It's like your skin really needs it and it's a whole bunch of good things. I will probably do another video on that talking about that. So. All right, for brows, and we're gonna be using the brow stylus from L'Oreal because I just so happen to be the only brow product I have right now that's working properly until I order a new one. So um, well, I guess while we're doing this, um, I actually ordered some stuff to actually start, <laughs> after all this time, to start making my own lipstick. I kind of wanted to play around with some makeup. So I was looking at the prices of like the organic um, lipsticks and yeah. I mean, I guess they're not bad if you are already used to like paying like Mac money. You know what I mean? Like you're already used to like spending quite a bit. Then honestly, it's not bad. And I understand why the prices are actually like that considering the type of ingredients that they're putting in and how much the ingredients cost. I do kind of get it, but then I know if I make it myself, I know it'll be, you know, cheaper in it. I don't know, I kind of don't mind. I don't want to say I don't know, I do know. Um, I don't mind actually making my own stuff. When I started my channel, I was doing a lot of DIY stuff like body scrubs and stuff like that. Cause that's just honestly the type of stuff that I enjoy. Like making your own body scrubs. Matter of fact, I need to make one with, um, I stopped making making it because I think it was clogged in the, the tub, but I was making a scrub. Maybe I'll make it for like summertime and I'll scrub and rinse it off outside. <laughs> All right, let me just fill in just a little bit more. So yeah, so I'll actually, I already ordered the stuff. I only have one more, no, two more things to order, um, which are the actual lipstick cases and the pigment. So that's the only part that's actually left. But I ordered all the ingredients to actually make it and the little mold and all of that stuff to actually make the shape of it. Um, so if y'all want to join me in that, I mean, of course, you're gonna have to watch the video first, but I'm hoping to actually do a lot more of those. Maybe like, um, oh, that's do it. <laughs> Maybe do more so like um, dupe videos and stuff like that where if we see a particular lipstick or eyeshadow palette, because eventually I want to do eyeshadow as well. Um, maybe we can start like duping those eyeshadow shadow palettes and those lipsticks. I thought that would kind of be like a little fun project to do. So, cause I'm a creative person and I'm one of those people that's like, I have to, I don't want to say I have to, but it's good for me in particular to have something to do. And especially when I start to like get good at one thing, it's like, ah, now nah, what else? You know what I mean? And then I keep coming right back to it. So I realized the things in my life that I keep coming back to, I need to like pay more attention to them. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to be taking 117 and 114 and mixing those up together and put them on my eyelids. And I was actually gonna, ooh, this is not the right color. Um, it needs to be 113, sorry. 113 and 117, not 114. 114 kind of has more of like a pinky type hue to it. So, or it doesn't kind of, it does. All right, and I'm gonna be using this concealer brush from the Vintage Cosmetic Company to clean up my brush. So what do y'all think of that? I, I hope that'll be something that'll interest y'all to want to at least learn how to make your own lipstick. And the molds look pretty simple enough. I'm hoping, you know, DIY projects can get kind of messy sometimes and I'm hoping this won't be too messy. Um, and I have found quite a few recipes and I've been watching, well, trying to find videos to get a better understanding of lipsticks. So I figure I'm just start there, get better at that and then we can add on, um, that is way too much concealer. I don't even know what I was thinking. I should just spread that over. But um, get the hang of that. And once we get the hang of that, then we can move on to other stuff. Maybe chapstick, because that's still in the same range. And believe it or not, a lot of that same product, you can actually use it to create eyeshadow with. Um, which I thought was actually kind of interesting. Like, yeah, I thought that was interesting. And uh, this isn't exactly my shade, but you know, 
it'll work. By the time we put eyeshadow and stuff over, you're not gonna be able to tell what's going on. But the cool thing I like about this color, it does work for the exact under eye area for me to help brighten it up and make it look more um more normal. So that I do like is kind of like that peachy color. So even though it's not really yellowish, it's still a correcting shade for me. Now I was reading an art while we're here, why not? I was reading an article today, Pop Sugar, that's what it was, Pop Sugar Beauty um, website. And it was a blog post that I saw on there that was talking about um, a makeup artist and her thoughts on baking underneath the eye. And I thought it was kind of interesting because she was saying, I guess we'll make this like a chatty, get ready with me type video. Um, you know, let's start off subtle first. We're gonna start off with that color first. You know what? I lied. <laughs> We're gonna start off with this color first. This is more of like a yellowy, um, a very soft yellow, pale yellow um, shade. It's from Shade Moisture Brit. They don't carry that anymore, but you, you should be able to find this shade. Well, she asked a couple of interesting questions. She's a makeup artist for um, Laura Mercier, and she was saying one interesting pe thing people have to realize about, about baking on the eyes, they're usually for people who are, you know, that you're either doing a photo shoot, you're on the red carpet, or um, you're the Kardashians. <laughs> what I thought was interesting was her point she was trying to make is there's only certain occasions that you actually need to set your under eye like that for and it's usually either you're you're always taking you know selfie pictures for Instagram that kind of thing or you you know you're gonna be on a red carpet or just some kind of important event but what she was saying is baking is not something that's for every day because of the kind of tissue that we have underneath our eye she was like uh, that area is so tender it's such a tender tissue down there and the fact that one of the things we're supposed to focus on doing is using eye cream eye cream to moisturize that under eye area to keep it supple because when you put all those powders on it actually dries and cakes up underneath there and the one place we don't want to look aged or to age quickly and get wrinkly quickly is our under eye area and here it is we're baking it and taking away all the moisture from underneath it we're already using a mattifying concealer on top of it and then on top of that, we're going and just powdering and baking and putting all that powder on. Anyway, I just thought that was a very, very interesting article. I'm gonna post it down below so you can check it out. Me personally, I used to bake when I first started, but now I just like to dust the powder underneath there and then just keep it going. Dust it on lightly, nothing serious. So, but I thought that was a pretty good recommendation just talking about um, how this area is a sensitive area for the under eye. All right, now I'm going to that shade for, um, what is going on? Is it not like focusing? Let's see what's going on here. All right, I'm gonna zoom in closer. I don't know if that color, you know what? I don't think this color is really gonna make much of a difference because that concealer was almost already that color. So let's go in a little bit deeper. I, well, yeah, yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna be using this shade right here from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Yep. There you go. And I don't know why I picked up this brush and not my usual, and I'm switching. <laughs> My thing is this, if you don't have to spend a whole bunch of extra time blending your eyeshadow out, why bother? Why put yourself through it? Anyway, so what do y'all think about what I just mentioned about the under eye area? Um, I thought that was pretty, pretty interesting because I was also watching something else I was talking about. Um, what was it? Oh, I guess what made me think about that also was because I've been watching all these tutorials about people complaining about the eye, the concealers being watery and too moist to want it to be matte. And I just thought that was pretty interesting after reading that. I was like, well, it's probably best for you to actually, like I've been saying, use cream concealer. I personally prefer cream concealer. I'm switching back to the smaller brush, but same color. I personally prefer um, cream concealer because I just feel like it just looks better. It looks better and then plus that you're adding that extra moisture to your eye area. All right, let's go in with a little bit of a deeper color. I'm gonna be going this color right here. Oh, so I guess I can update you guys on this while I'm sitting here instead of sitting here quietly. <laughs> Um, one of the things I've been working on, I purchased sample shades from Plain Jane Beauty and they sent me that and I had ordered another set of, <laughs> I had ordered another set because unfortunately the colors that came in that one didn't match me, but so thank goodness they had samples. And um, when I ordered the second set, I forgot to put the order in there and they actually sent me that plus an additional other one. So I also swatch on my channel. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I found my shade. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even tell y'all what I'm using. I'm using 736 
Zayo Cosmetics uh, Cream Foundation. And that's the organic foundation. Anyway, so I'm going to be testing that out. Because even though they sent me a sample, I didn't feel like that was like adequate enough for me to really, really test it out. But it was definitely great enough for me to figure out my shade. So I'm looking forward to actually trying um, the full size out. You know what? I was meaning to use this other thing. I don't even know why I even pulled this out. I was meaning to use the No Budge Eyeshadow. And I just sat here and used the cream all over my eyelids. Ugh. Don't you just like when you do that? I was trying to make this a quick video, getting ready, so to kind of, you know, not be doing the usual. All right, so I'm gonna be using this color here from the BH Cosmetics palette. That color on the lid. Oh, you know what? This very much so reminds me of the shade from the Wet n Wild palette, the one from the Comfort Zone. Definitely very much so reminds me of that. I was thinking this color was in the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I was wrong. Very, very pretty shade. I'm gonna see if they look alike. I'm gonna see in a second. It looks more purpley. It definitely does. It looks more purpley than that brown green. So I would say it probably isn't the same, but it has like that same type of look. So this one in the middle, this is this is Wet n Wild, and this is the color from the foil. So yeah, they're definitely not the same. Um, the one from the BH Cosmetics is more purpley, and the other one from Wet n Wild is definitely more like that peacock shade, that teal shade. Still pretty though. And actually, it will probably still look pretty cute with this. I'm just gonna dap into a little bit of that color and blend it into the crease a little bit. Why not blend in some shimmer into the crease, which is this color right here. I really just, I saw the mustard color and I was like, ooh, that just looked like that would be so pretty. I think I probably just need to put it on a brighter base next time, like something probably more pale. Um, pale, fair, light, or white, either one, to really, really make this color pop. I'm gonna go ahead and take that Wet Wild shade, the same one, I just swatched the teal one, and I'm actually gonna probably put that this one right here. If you have the older palette, use that one, I'm gonna tell you now, that palette is better, the shadow's better. I'm thinking, should I just use that? <laughs> Shoot, why make stuff hard on yourself when you don't have to? Yeah, and I'm just gonna take that color, it's the same color, so if you have the other one, the new one, you know, go ahead and use it. But if you don't, it's, maybe I should whip that in this way a little bit. It's just some fancy up a little bit. Hey, maybe we didn't have to do this stuff if we did want to keep it simple. And you didn't have to. It's definitely different. It has a different effect on it, that's for sure. Cause they almost do look alike, but then it kind of doesn't. All right, moving on. I'm gonna be using this shade right here at the bottom. If you need to apply a little bit more cream down here so you can really, really get this to stick. And I'm gonna do the little orangey henna, and I'm gonna be using this shade right here next to it. Just kind of brighten up the inner corner just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go back to that mustard color and just pop that, ooh, yes, on top. Yeah, so I needed to wet these. Ah, oh, look at that, yep. That definitely has more of a pop. You know what, I'm gonna take a little bit of that same color and kind of like flare it into the mustard just to use it to kind of build up to it. Why not? This is very, very interesting looking. I would have never would have thought to do that combo, but I just saw them all sitting together and I was like, you know what, why not? I'm gonna go back to that Jaclyn Hill palette and grab that mustard color and just blend this out just a little bit more, just to give it a better blend. Yeah, cause I didn't have anything on that brush before. I was just blending it just as is. This is really, really pretty. Like I would, like honestly, see this is why I love playing with your makeup because then you get an idea of what the colors can actually do. This is super cute. Like I never would have thought to have done that. All right, so I'm gonna be taking the NYC liquid liner. I should be using, let me use the Wet n Wild. Let's keep knocking that out because yeah, I've been doing pretty good with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the Wet n Wild uh, waterproof liner. Not bad. We'll go to the next eye and um, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna be using Smashbox, Smash, Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in the Fishnet. And I'm gonna be using this to tap tight line with. All right, and if you're definitely, if you're putting on like black liner, like wing liner, you definitely need to be doing this. I know it's not comfortable for everybody, but you do get used to it, I promise, you do. But it does make a total difference in your look. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on. 
And yes, I am going to be using my Tarte mascara up. I'm not telling y'all to purchase it. All I'm saying is I need to use it up because you know what? When you spend money on something, you're going to use it up. And now I'm going to have to find another mascara because I know this will be an insult and a slap to a lot of people on my channel. And if y'all have any recommendations for any mascara that works good like this one, please, please, please let me know something that does not flake. All right, and then I'm going to be using this lipstick here from, this is actually from Red Apple lips what's it red apple lipstick and this shade is in rosemancy and this is an organic non-toxic lipstick and i do need a pencil liner for this but you know we gonna work this out and this actually looks really cute together i think i'm gonna try to try that eyeshadow maybe like by itself well not by itself necessarily but maybe not with all the colors uh, maybe just more with the mustard gold color maybe not so much with that other color on the top lid but un honestly it looks pretty cute i don't think i would have tried doing that before all right so anyway i hope that y'all enjoyed this uh, makeup tutorial it wasn't quick like i was hoping it was gonna be but it was definitely quick as far as i didn't use too many colors in the transition area um i kind of kept it down to like what three well four because i kind of said it but that's kind of normal um so yeah I don't know, I think it came out pretty fun looking, so. And I'm realizing this, man, a quick cheat is really, it really is a wing eyeliner for real. Like, it changes the whole look of everything. Once you put the eyeliner on, whether, I don't know what you prefer to use, whether it's pencil or gel or liquid, but, um, or the felt tip pen, the felt tip pen. I should have been doing this sooner. <laughs> but you know what, hey, it's all good, all right? So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Just trying to squeeze something and do something a little bit on a different side, mix it up with the Jaclyn Hill and also this BH Cosmetics. I really need to use this up because these two together, uh, yeah, you should be able to create something. Like, you really, really should. And I was thinking about using the pencil, but I didn't, the no budge eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use that next time and see how that goes, and how to play with that and mix it with other colors. So just to make it just a little bit more exciting. All right. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the look. Thank y'all so much for watching and <laughs> I'll talk to y'all soon. <laughs> Bye.